Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Pharma Just. I am Dr. Haimavati and in the as you know we have started a new series of videos under the heading computer aided drug design in the CAD made easy series and in the present video I will be discussing about the representation of molecules. So watch the video till the end and uh, before beginning the video if you are new to this channel then do subscribe to my channel like and share the video and you can see my previous videos at the i card and also at the end card and i will give the links to my other videos in the description box you can check the description box for the links to my other videos and if you want to know more about my work and what i do you can visit to my website that is www.haimavati.com now let's begin our video so what is a molecular model a molecular model is a physical model to represent molecules so it helps in studying the molecular structure to simulate the behavior of the mo molecule in chemical or biological systems and uh, according to the definition uh, molecular modeling means the creation of a mathematical model of molecular properties and behavior is known as molecular modeling and the graphical depiction is known as molecular graphics and these topics are closely linked to each other and use techniques from each other that means if you want to represent a molecular model you need a mathematical equation which is given to the computer and the output you get in a human understandable form like the 2d or 3d image so basically what is the importance of the visualization or the representation so visualization makes complex information easy to understand through the use of images so if you simply if you imagine the image we cannot understand the molecule but if you have a representation or a visualization you can study its properties and it helps in understanding the structure and function of the molecule and the most widely used representations are 2d structure diagrams in which the atoms are arranged in 2d space so this image of a methane molecule it is the 2d structure representation in which we can see the bond lengths and bond angles and there is no overlap of atoms between the atoms so the stereochemical information cannot be understood by this 2d structure so to understand the stereochemical information of this molecule they are given by using the wedged and the hash bonds but uh, this image also it does not give the 3d information of the molecule so that is why the further advancements in the representations they led to the development of the 3d images where we can uh, imagine the molecule in the three dimensional space that is the x y and z space so this helps in better understanding of the chemical and biological properties of molecules now coming to the history of the molecules so how did this all uh, representation of molecules start so this image this is the image of a protein molecule it was developed by a team Kandrew et al in 1958 so this is the first uh, we can say the first physical model of a molecule macromolecule and this is the structure of a uh, myoglobin which was determined using x-ray crystallography so in those days that means before the arrival of computers molecular models were made manually using wood paper wire rubber plastic etc which was a laborious and time consuming process so this is also such a physical model which was prepared using a brass wire so the protein backbone was represented using this brass wire but the disadvantage of this model as you know as the size of the structure increases the model becomes more complex and unmanageable and we cannot uh, study about the atom distances or atom angles by using these physical models so after that uh, due to further more advances in technology uh, with the advent of computers 
so it improved further this is the image of the first dynamic model of a protein which was developed in 1964 by Leventhal at MIT in this they were able to rotate the molecule about all the three orthogonal axes and we can say this was the first dynamic model which helped in visualization of the protein in those days and this cost approximately 2 million US dollars in those days that is in 1960s and further advancements in the technology we uh, now we'll see the different milestones in the graphical representation phase of the molecules so in 1970 the first molecular graphic system was introduced by Langridge at Princeton University it could display bonds and the atoms in a color so different atoms were given different colors and they could be visualized and in 1977 the first time the protein structure was visualized using x-ray crystallography data by Richardson et al and next the introduction of uh, raster graphics so what is raster graphics means uh, it is represents the 2d image as a rectangular matrix or grid of square pixels that means in those days the graphical representation was done using this technology known as raster graphics which can be used uh, visualized from a computer or a digital medium so the 1974 the first raster graphics were introduced and in 1980 it was the further advancements so we have the different powerful workstations in which we could uh, the 3d capability was increased and gra the introduction of the graphic cards made it possible to visualize the molecules with standard pc systems also that means before uh, the advent of these graphics the molecules could be visualized only using powerful workstations but the introduction of this low budget 3d capable graphic cards even personal computers are also capable of this molecular modeling and now we have a number of molecular modeling softwares which are uh, which were available only for workstations which are now available for personal computers so what are the different molecular representations so line or wire capped stick ball and stick space filling or cpk so these representations they are used for only small molecules that means molecules which have low molecular weight so the first one is the wireframe model so this is how a wireframe model looks like in this uh, this is the most well known uh, and the earliest computer model for a molecular structure it is also known as line model or driding model and the atoms uh, the bonds of the molecule are represented by colored vector lines and the color is based on the atom type it does not display the atoms but the atom positions are derived from the end and the branching points of the wireframe model the bond orders between two atoms are given by the number of lines that is for double bond it is represented by two lines and a single bond is a single line next is the capped stick model so it is a variation of the wireframe model the structure is represented by thick cylindrical bonds so here you can see the thick cylindrical bonds and it is an improved 3d version of the wireframe model the atoms are shrunk to the diameter of the cylinder and are used only for smoothing or closing the ends of the tubes next is the ball and stick model so this is the most famous model the ball and stick model in which the atoms are represented at small as small balls which are centered at the nucleus of the atoms and the bonds between uh, between the balls are cylinders or sticks the color of the balls is dependent on the atom type this is also another representation of the ball and stick it is known as scaled ball and stick with a slight variation of the ball and stick model 
and next we have space filling model this space filling model it is also known as cpk which was developed by the three scientists corey pauling and colton therefore it is known as a cpk model it is also known as scale model so the model is based on spheres that represent the electron cloud it is possible to visualize the extent of the molecule so this cpk model it helps to understand to what extent the molecule is occupied in the space the connectivities between the atoms and molecules cannot be visualized so these atomic spheres can be determined from the van der waals radius which indicate the most stable distance between two atoms so this is about space filling model and now next so as i have discussed the spheres represent the electron cloud and in this connectivities cannot be visualized now coming to macro versus small molecules so till now the representations what we have seen they are suitable only for small molecules but for macro molecules these representations cannot be used because of the size of the molecule so there are hundreds of amino acids and when this representation we use for amino acid number of amino acids the structure becomes very complex unmanageable and it is very difficult to understand hence the macro molecules have different set of representations which we will be seeing now so this is the first model it is known as wire model in which the protein backbone is in the form of a wire and the next one is the line ribbon model so in this we can differentiate between the different secondary structures of the protein that is helices sheets and loops this is a flat ribbon model so this is more clear this uh, model gives more clear representation of the protein so here we can see the helices the beta sheets the turns and the loops another model is the solid ribbon model it is similar to the flat ribbon model and uh, in this the ribbons and uh, sheets are more solid to see this is tube model of representation here in this model we cannot differentiate between the helices and beta sheets and this is schematic model in this schematic model the helices are represented as cylinders and the beta sheets are represented as arrows and the loops you can see them as wires so this is the end of the video i hope you like the video and it was informative thanks for watching and do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching